So this is the basic uh, core piece of WIMS for CRM, the idea of stocking locations, where you can set these up to act as either representations for physical warehouses, uh, primary locations and secondary locations, as well as uh, mobile inventory locations. If you have service trucks that you want to keep an eye on the inventory products uh, inside those, or if you have uh, mobile delivery systems or things like that. So if we open up one of these records here, you can see it contains most of the information you would expect uh, if this location is your primary uh, stocking location for your inventory system, as well as basic information to enter an address uh, with the later capability of adding maps or uh, notes, activities, and things like that to keep a day-to-day -day log of, of what's going on in your warehouse. Once you have the idea of a stocking location where products can be based around, you can then expand out into more robust tracking. So this is a sample dashboard we put together that gives a quick high level view of all the different things that WIMS for CRM offers. If we expand the products, this shows a list of just some sample products that we've populated this test system with. Uh, that is utilizing most of the out-of-the-box features that CRM offers. Uh, you can track quantity on hand, uh, description, as well as uh, units, primary, secondary, and, and price lists so that you can support either sales or uh, group discounts for specific items. Also out-of-the-box comes the support for nested product properties, uh, bundles of products, uh, also known as kit products, so that you can sell, uh, let's say, if we look here at this example for uh, a security bundle, you can see that this one product in the system contains multiple line items uh, in one cohesive unit that you can sell. We've also added the capability of assigning a primary vendor to a product. This is the idea that whenever you reorder, you can select very, very quickly and very easily which vendor you would like the product to always be requested from. On the right hand side you can also see the inventory product subgrid. Uh, this is a smaller representation of uh, what we can see on the dashboard and ties in your exact product counts uh, at a given location for any given product. So if we navigate back to the main dashboard here you can see that at a glance for every single product in the system for every single stocking location, you can see quantity on hand, quantity committed, and quantity available at a glance. And if you drill into one of these records, you can also see at all the phases of the inventory process, uh, requesting purchase orders, receiving shipments from your vendors, fulfilling orders for your customers, interlocation transfers, and transfers out. We also offer the capability for setting a maximum and a minimum quantity for a given item. This allows you to automatically generate purchase orders for either your primary vendor or using some other set of rules whenever your quantity uh, at a particular location gets below a certain level. This allows you to always make sure you have enough quantity on hand at your primary location to fulfill orders as well as making sure that if you do uh, choose to do a service truck or a order delivery truck, that that truck also has the required inventory levels at any given time. We also mentioned the idea of vendors. Now out of the box, CRM does allow you to set a vendor uh, for a given item. However, this is simply just a, a text field and has no real data. If you open up one of these records instead, you can see a, a vendor number and a vendor name. Uh, plenty of open space for any additional information you like if you want to have sales history, if you need the address, the website, or the email address of any of these vendors, that information can be loaded on this screen as well. Plus, we take it one step further and tie each of the main products in the system to a particular vendor. This allows you to quickly and easily see, and we'll navigate to the dashboard for this, quickly and easily see those products by last cost by vendor. So if you've received a product, it will automatically stamp the cost that the vendor sold it to you to that item. And then when you go to reorder uh, later on in a product's life cycle, you have a quick and easy idea 
of how much that costs you, an average cost over time, and you can make uh, more intelligent and better informed business decisions. Now, with this dashboard, we can see the, the basic overview of what CRM offers you. Uh, main products, products by location, and products by vendor. In future webinars, we'll also touch on the purchase order process, being able to use the vendor products and vendor list to intelligently reorder products uh, into your separate warehouse locations. Uh, the receiving process, where you can not only track uh, and verify that what you requested from your vendor ended up on your loading dock, but also track where that ends up on your shelves as well, using uh, the bin entity that we have created. Finally, we'll follow up with later webinars touching on the order process, which is very, very similar, if you're familiar with CRM, uh, to the out-of-the-box process with some additional steps we've added uh, for clarity and auditing of inventory levels. And our final webinars will touch on the transfer process and, uh, from one location to another and the asset management process that we're trying to integrate using uh, serial numbers in the system. Now, all of these uh, five options here will be integrated with the mobile, as Glenn showed you in the screenshot, as well as any basic uh, physical counts or, or stocking counts to set these quantity on hand values uh, out of the gate. So I hope uh, this was a quick and informative bird's eye view of some of the new core tenants that we're introducing with WIMS for CRM. And I hope you can join us for later webinars as we dig into the real meat of the system, uh, showing not only the capabilities we offer as automation, but the benefits that they will provide to your business uh, from an inventory and tracking standpoint.